Hello everyone. In this video today, we'll be discussing the basics of the pattern command. To start off, you will need to set the correct tool center point for the current tool that you have applied to the robot. So to do that, you go down the robot settings tab, tool center point settings. You will have to calculate the tool center point if you have not done so. To set your tool center point, you go to the, this little drop down menu. We have a vacuum and a gripper applied to our robot, so that's the current tool center point I'm going to use. You set that as the active tool center point. It should be good to go. Now that means that brings the tool center point from the center of the flange to wherever the tool end is at the end of your tooling on the real robot. That helps in patterning because now that the robot thinks that the tool center point is not at the center of the tool flange and is actually at the end of the tool, it can adjust those intervals correctly. Okay, then we're going to go to the program page. Once at the program page, you all you have to do to set up a pattern is to go over here to the commands tab, click on commands. In the advanced section we have vision, pattern, script, and path. We're doing patterns today, so we'll click pattern. We go down to the pattern command, click on it again. It'll bring all these options up. We have stack, unstack, line, square, and box. In this video today we'll be discussing stack, unstack, and line. All three of those are pretty much the same thing. The only thing that's different about them is the direction. Stack starts at the bottom and moves upwards. Unstack starts at the top and moves down. Line just moves in a straight line or diagonal line uh, across a horizontal surface. That helps with the robot programming to know which direction the pattern is moving. It just helps for a more accurate placement. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on point one, set the point, now all I have to do is take your robot, move the arm to the correct position at the bottom of the stack, the point one. So once the robot's at the bottom of the stack, center it above the piece that you want to pick, you hit OK. And now you have point one set. You go to point two, you go to set the point, move it to the top of the stack, the top piece that you have in the stack, wherever the center of that is. And you're going to hit OK. Then you move on to count. Count is the number of pieces in the stack that the robot is patterning. So you go here, click every pieces you have in the pattern, let's just say five, and that will adjust the interval accordingly. Right here we have 33.75 millimeters apart for five pieces in that distance that I have set and for these two points. So point one and point two are a certain distance apart. I set the count for five. That distance divided by five is 33.75 millimeters. You can now adjust the interval. The program does it itself. So as long as you have the two points set up correctly and you have the correct number of parts, the robot will be able to move between those parts equally and pick them all up in sequential order every time it comes back to this command. So now that you have the basic part of the pattern down, you have the bottom and the top of the stack set, and you have the pattern point listed right here. If you want to add positions uh, for it to move to once it grabs the part, or if you need to set the vacuum or gripper to grab the part in general, you go to the set command. Let's say you have a digital vacuum or gripper. You click on the vacuum or gripper that you would like. And you set it for high so that when the vacuum turns on, it will grasp the part. So now what we have here, the robot moves to the pattern position sets the vacuum and the next thing it does will be to move straight up. So how to do that? I'll click on the move command and click on set point. Once the robot grabs the part out of the stack I want it to move straight up so that it doesn't hit the other parts or knock them out of the stack. So the only difference between the stack, unstack, and line patterns are the direction in which you apply the first two points. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the commands tab, select another pattern, go down to that pattern that I just created, I'll do a line, and I'll do point one, set that point. I want it to be more of a horizontal line, so we'll go set the point there, set point two along that same horizontal line. 
I'll just move it over a little bit. So that's the end of the pattern right there. Hit OK. I'll say that there are seven parts in that pattern. Once it goes to pick up the part, I want it to vacuum, turn the vacuum on. So it goes here, turns the vacuum on. And then it'll move that part up and out of the way so that it won't hit the others in its path. Okay, so now that point is set, the pattern command is finished, and we'll just go ahead and recap the major points of the pattern command. The first thing I want to point out is to make sure that you choose the correct direction, either stack or unstack. You don't want to flip those or else the pattern will give you a lot of errors and you won't be allowed to play the program. The other thing is that make sure the points 1 and 2 are set up in the center of the part to ensure that it will grasp that part every time uh, it rotates back to that command. And the last thing is the count. If you don't set the count right, the intervals will be messed up and it will never grab the parts. Alright? So I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at the email provided. And please enjoy the rest of your day.